you know, a lot of times folks will read the argument, they'll read the stimulus and they'll be like, I kind of get it, but I'm not really sure. Let me look at the question and the choices and see if those help. They're never going to help. They're never going to help. The choices only make sense in the context of the stimulus because they're asking you to strengthen an argument or weaken an argument or find a parallel argument. How can you find a parallel argument if you don't know the original argument? How can you strengthen an argument if you don't know what the argument is that you're dealing with? And so slowing down and understanding the stimulus first, or at least understanding it in depth, is really important. In a way, the question stem type is almost arbitrary. I could take any necessary assumption stimulus and turn it into a flaw question. And I find it really useful to reframe it. If you say, there's a gap in this argument, what, is, what flaw is the argument guilty of? versus what is an assumption underlying the argument that the argument requires. It's pretty much the same thing. The only difference is whether we give the person making the argument the benefit of the doubt or not. But we're interpreting how reasonable the argument is, in other words. LSAC tells us how to view it. Are they reasonable or not? Doesn't matter. LSAC tells us the perspective. Either way, we still got to evaluate that gap. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.